Welcome to the AeroGS channel, and we got a short video here for you today. We're going to be doing work on an existing system. Basically, what's going on here is the catch basins that were installed by the contractor that also installed this patio and channel drains. He put the catch basins a little bit too high up, so the water cannot effectively make its way into those catch basins from the channel drains. And what happens is this area all here floods out and it goes into the porch. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cleaning out these channel drains and we're also going to be moving the catch basins underneath the channel drains and sinking them lower. Now as you can see right here in this clip, look how high up that is. There is no way that water can efficiently get into that catch basin from these channel drains. That's why they're experiencing the flooding issues that they're still having. So let's go ahead and let's get this fixed. Now what we ended up having to do was custom cut this catch basin so that it could fit down underneath this channel drain. And we were working in a very tight space because we had a few sprinkler lines that were also on the other side of this catch basin. And we're just going to use a piece of SDR to go ahead and stub out to get the distance that we need to go into the main line. Now if we were to have to dig up this entire main line and resync it, it would just be way too much money for the client's budget. So this was a lot better option. Which is just to be able to custom cut these catch basins and put them below the channel drain. We have the hose running in the channel drain right now because we're also cleaning it out. And this clip here, you can see a perfect example of how these catch basins were just placed way too high in the ground and the reason why they were having the backup issue on the patio that they were having. Another tip that I wanted to mention, if you're ever having channel drains installed, make sure you have at least the two inch ones in size installed. That way the caps can pop off because anything below two inches, the caps usually do not remove. And as you can see, the water is flowing nicely into this catch basin now. Now, both of these catch basins on the left and the right, the main lines, they do lead to the front of the home with a pop-up emitter that discharges onto the street. When it comes to residential yard drainage, especially here in Florida, every system is unique. There's always going to be different obstacles that you have to overcome in order to build and design a system that's going to function properly. Now, as you can see, we have both of our catch basins reinstalled and they're lower than the channel drains. That way, all the water that gathers on top of this patio can then be funneled into those channel drains and be taken out to the front and will no longer flood into this porch. And if you enjoyed this content, give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It supports the channel. And until next time, this is Arrow GS signing off.